Hi there, my name is uh, Daryl Yu, reporting here from lovely Sydney in Cybos for day two for the asset. Now, over the last several hours of high level discussions, there have been a lot of interesting developments, um, especially for us at the asset team. One of them has been along the lines of trade finance, where essentially the technology is there, but systems still need to be worked out to ensure that the development of trade finance processes are streamlined in the future. Um, definitely in the last few days, we've seen several banks get together to form a global trade finance platform, which shows that banks are taking the initiative to go ahead and move forward in terms of the development to make efficiencies better for their clients. Another thing we did notice here at the Cybus conference was regarding data. As I mentioned yesterday in our recap, API technology is being used a lot by banks to gather data, but the big question is whether those data can be enhanced via machine learning and via AI. Through the discussions we've had today, AI has continued to be a big focus of how to manage the data sets and to be able to provide better experience for the overall client and customer base. So definitely a lot of technology talk here at Cybus for day two. Um, how about you, uh, Derek? What, what are you seeing from your end? Hello, Daryl. I just completed a panel of SIPS China cross-border interbank payment system. This year, several senior executives from People's Bank of China, SIPS and some Chinese banks are invited to share the recent development and experience of this system. One recent development is obviously the phase two of SIPS 24-hour service in all time zone, which was implemented early this year. Thanks, Derek. Um, so, from on behalf of us, the asset team here at Cybos in Sydney, uh, thank you very much for watching our day two recap of the event. Stay tuned tomorrow for day three.